thank you. First of all, I want to thank the King of Kings for granting me this privilege. The privilege to stand here this evening to bring the word of God. It's not, I do not take it for granted. And I want to thank our Father. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you, sir. You know, I was really worried since the time he told me that I was going to be standing here. I mean, I just kept asking myself, what will I say? <laughs> I, I, I don't know how I'm going to match the energy of PM. I mean, we can't match that energy. <laughs> but I believe the Lord will grant us grace this evening. In the name of Jesus. The, the, there's a subject the Lord began to minister to me was it on Friday? Yeah, on Friday. And before I go on, I want you to help me appreciate. I hope I'm permitted to do this. Okay. I want you to help me appreciate my mother. She's in the house. began to minister unto me in the light of consciousness. 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 And I began to wonder that I mean we used to say that uh, there's just one step between you and your next level or one step between you and your blessing, one step between you and your fame and all of those good stuff. But the truth of the matter is between your today and the picture you are seeing tomorrow requires conscious effort. That we can be coming to church. I mean, this was how he painted the, 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 the scenario to me. That we can be coming to church. We can have believers that they've been in church for 20 years, 10 years, 15 years, but then there is so much gap of knowledge, of revelation, of light, of insight. You see a believer that has been in Christ for 10 years, 20 years, and then you are wondering, there are certain things that we should see in this life. I had a scenario for you yesterday, but because of our time, I wouldn't want to do that. That a lawyer will go to school for four years. Is it four years now? 
is five years. And then after five years, you go to law school. Now, after law school, there are certain challenges you bring to the lawyer if you went to a good school and if the judge is correct. There are certain challenges you bring to the lawyer that he won't need to go back to his book to say, wait, let me go on. I need to read this one. Is somebody here now? As a nurse, ma'am, if you want to, if they bring uh, a malaria patient, say for example, and then the doctor writes a prescription that give this person so, 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 those and all of that. You don't need to go back to your book to say, how did they even used to give injection? Because you went through a systemic learning and then it has entered into you that you can now deliver it without, without any riaza, as the case may be. But that in church, believers will come to church today, tomorrow, they will come for weekly services. But then, there is that gap. And the Lord began to minister that the issue is not that the anointing is not there. The issue is not that I'm not present upon the altar. It's that the people are not engaging consciously. Yeah. I found out that you can lock yourself in the room and tell your neighbors or your family members that you, are, you, you want to have retreat. 24 hours retreat. But it's, you are the only one that knows that the 24 hours, you use like 8 hours to sleep and they use another 6 hours to check whether somebody sent you a WhatsApp message and then you prayed in tongues although you prayed in tongues but you prayed in tongues off your mind. So even if God wanted to reach out to you, you would have been able to. Because your mind was not there. The book of Psalm chapter 82 verse 5. Psalm 82 verse 5. We're going to be looking at the power of consciousness. This is the power of consciousness. Psalm 82 5. I'm going to read from here. It said, they know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the act are out of course. I wrote here, I said, consciousness is awareness. Consciousness is awareness. The state of being aware and responsive to one's surroundings. A person's awareness or perception of something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't want to speak too much English this evening. But I want, to, I want you to follow me. Because you see, what I want to do the next few minutes is to help us come, or I would like to put it now, trigger that sense of consciousness that we come to church or even outside the church. Many people do certain things, but then they don't put their hearts to it, so they are not growing in it. We come to church, we learn. Peons taught us uh, the mighty man of David. That was our first series. And then we went on to talk about run to win. Now, how many of us, including the person stands, how many of us went back to the teaching to listen to it again? It's a rhetorical question. You don't have to answer. So it's inside your heart. You know whether you went back or not. <laughs> These ones you wrote down, that I was not the one that wrote it for you. Did you go back to it to read it? Because you see, the problem is, we, 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 will, be, we will be happy and you know, joyful about the strength and the, 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 the depth of the word. But then, if we don't take our time to drive it in, we will not see it work in our life. I wrote here, I said, in your journey of being conscious, I want to look at four things. Four stages of consciousness. Four stages. That there are four types of people on earth. There are four types of people you will meet. There are four types of people you will meet on a job. 
There are four types of people you will, you will have in, the, in your circle of friends. Number one are the, and I got this from a psychologist. He says, unconscious, those that are unconsciously incompetent. Amen? Two disasters there. Unconsciously incompetent. What it means is that, now you're going to permit me with this English. I've tried to realize it more clear in my head. He does not know, and he does not know that he does not know. Show correct. Oh, correct, Abby. Okay. I mean, it was sounding weird in my ears, but you don't know something, and you don't know that you don't know that thing. Uh -uh. There's a problem. Peons was citing someone that came to do AC three times. He will come again, and he will come again, and then he will come again. Uh, are you okay? AC. Number one, you're not the one that built the AC. Just to come and repair. Oh, they're shady. Now, if you ask that person, he can start giving you all kinds of excuses. Ah, fake in AC, Dora. They bought China. The reason is because there's something about the mind of the guy. He doesn't know the work and he does not know that he does not know. It's a state of ignorance. Number two, conscious incompetence. That you come to the awareness that, okay, now I've agreed that this thing, I don't know it. You come to the state of awareness. Conscious incompetence. You are still incompetent, oh, but now you know that, okay, I don't know this thing. You don't catch me. Okay, okay, okay. I'll go, I'll go. <laughs> the third one, conscious competence. That now is a state of learning. That now you know that you know. But the issue at this level is that, you, you, number one, you can't brag about the knowledge. Number two, you can't pass on the knowledge because you are still in that stage of learning. Because before you can do what you say you know, you have to put effort to it. Amen. Have you seen a learner driving before? Have you ever jammed any one of them? And you will be wondering, is it is it car that this person is driving? Or there's some there's something else is attached to, <laughs> you know? They hold the thing as if if I don't hold it like this, this car. No, no, nah, calm down. The problem there is that although the person can drive, he knows he can drive, but he has not entered into things, so he can't do it unconsciously. So he needs to put effort into it. Then the third one, the fourth one, that's the, 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 the mastery, unconscious competence. Unconscious competence. That's the state of mastery. That you can be playing drums very well and then you are doing something else. You can be driving and then you are doing something else. You can be on the surgery table and then your mind is not necessarily there because you've done this thing over and over again. One of uh, a, a doctor, a family doctor, at times when I call him, he will pick my stuff. And then I will, I will sense that, oh, is he busy? He'll say, no, we can, we can talk. And then he will tell me that he's in theater, but we can talk. Ah, ah. Daddy, we want theater. <laughs> We can talk. And here you're somebody's like, if you juke where you're not supposed to juke, the person is gone. That person is the man. That person will not. It is not, it's not today. It's not today. It's not today. You find uh, singers to pick key. They've given you the key. To, to sing in accordance to the key is war. Who's had the, I should, I should not, I should not be, I should not fight. Okay, I will not fight. 
uh, you know, and it's not even about singers. Even things that you've been doing this thing, ah, how can it be difficult? So you tell me you've been coming to church for 20 years and you can't heal the sick. Ah. So what have you been learning? You've been praying for 20 years and your child is sick and then you've used drugs and the child is not getting well and you are crying, looking for a prophet somewhere to come and pour oil on the child. Eh? So what are you doing? What have you, the problem is, what have you been learning for 20 years? I, I, number one, I need to know the content. And then I even need to know your teacher. And I need to know you. Because something must be wrong with you and the curriculum. You tell me you've been coming to church for so long. And then, uh, I'm not saying take the word. I'm saying your family, three people. So you, you, you can't have dominion. So you still dream. And cockroach flies in your dream. And then you are using coal to disturb peons. Or a, a, a one masquerade is pursuing you. And then you are disturbing the man of God that needs, that needs rest. Amen. Amen. The problem is that although the some might eat the right, but the one that they receive them is conscious of what he or she is doing in the church. Yeah. It's not fun. That you can be praying. Ah, ah. Two hours after your prayer. Oh, yeah. So, glory. Because it's this drama. Must have been, you must have been seeing somebody. And then the whole hours that the person used, if you can tap into the mind, is either there is one movie he, he saw last night, and he kept playing. And you know, you are just ruminating on the film. And then the people around you are, yeah, but in your mind, suits is playing and all sorts of series and you are thinking of things that don't matter now let me tell you this when the scripture says it that prays every that prays in an unknown tongue you know edifies himself although you know it should get to the space get mysteries on the god what it means edification does not come until there is a transaction between divinity and humanity that's when edification comes it's not automatic. So you think you have a double, 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 and then it's a faith comment. But by hearing, by hearing the word of God, it's not just preaching that God will communicate his mysteries into your heart, and then by that, faith erupts. But how will faith erupt? When, while you told us, that you are going for three days and you took your phone with you and then you've downloaded series to retreat so that you will not is it that so that you will not sleep or I don't know but keep the body and soul consciousness we lose sight of the God we are not paying attention to the details we need to pay attention. The difference between that person that knows his craft and the one that is looking at saying, you can't be this dull, is that one is consciously engaging while the other is not conscious. Let's look at Daniel chapter 1 from verse 8. I'm going to show us just three things three layers of what, what will I call that one now? I wrote here, I said, Daniel was one man that typified the blessings of being conscious. Of being conscious. I love Daniel so much. I mean, I, for about three years of my life, I was studying 
Daniel. The guy is amazing. Amazing guy. Daniel chapter 1 verse 8. It says, and Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the king's food. Now, <laughs> Daniel was part of the, uh, what, will, what will I call them now? Hebrew boys that was brought from, um, from Jerusalem to Babylon, right? And then, you know, they were about to engraft them into the, the culture, the Babylonian culture. But here comes a few boys, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And then they told, Daniel says, he said, he proposed in his heart. And he said, I will not defile myself with the king's meat. What it means is that, see, although I am in Babylon, although this is not my fatherland, I, 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 have, I have a goal. There is a place I am going to. We carry the dominion mandate. And if I am going to have dominion in Babylon, there is a way I must do. There is a way I must act. There are things I must consciously do that will build me up so that when problems come, I will be ready. Amen? Hallelujah? I was wondering today that if I was Daniel. I will most likely not say, I mean, I will be spiritual, but I will not go that route. The prayer will be praying, Lord, open the gate to Babylon. I need to get out of captivity. Amen? I need to get out of the Yoruba, my Yoruba prophets will say, Amen? 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 But this was Daniel. Minuahamo inside. It's not, it's, he wasn't free there. They were captured. But then, uh, they captured me. And then, the king summoned me to his, to his palace to come and eat. Uh, uh, this is blessing. Favor is raining. Amen. Heaven is rainy. But then he said to himself, no, 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 no. There is, I'm going somewhere. There is something we need to achieve in Babylon. And you see, how I am going to get ready is that I must not defile myself. We are going to see verse 17 to verse 20. He says, and Daniel, out of all the boys, they were 10 times better. That was the first stage of how Daniel consciously engaged his learning and engaged the, the problems. The second one, Daniel chapter 2 verse 10. I want you to follow me. Daniel chapter 2 verse 10. Daniel chapter 2 really, I think the whole chapter talks about, you know, what, what I want to say. So in Daniel chapter 2, Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. And then you dreamt. Number one, you forgot the dream. Of course, since you can't remember the dream, there's no way you can have interpretation to what you don't know. And then you're now threatening everybody that I will kill all of you. All the astrologers and all of that. If you don't tell me my dream and the interpretation, sir, Eh, well, okay. That didn't even look at means eh, well. You were the one that dreamt. And then he said, I'm going to kill him. Now, remember where I'm coming from. I'm coming from Daniel chapter 1 verse 8. But Daniel proposed to himself. Do not defile himself. Right? And then the king has seen them that they are ten times better. Now, they are, they are within the chambers of the king. I, I hope you understand what I'm saying now. They are part of kings, the workers of the king. Now, in chapter 2, the same king had a dream and had gotten what he saw. He, can't remember, he doesn't know the, the interpretation. And then they came to Daniel. He said, they came to Daniel to kill Daniel. And he told them, ah, calm down, calm down. Why is the king so hasty? And then he sought audience with the king. And he told the king, give us time. Give us what? Give us what? Give us time. 
And then he went back, called his brothers, and then the friend said, in the night, it was, it was revealed to him in the vision of the night. And then he praised God and all of that. The third one. Now I'm going to say what I want. Daniel chapter 5. Daniel chapter 5, from verse 5 to 7. If it can be projected, I'll be glad. Daniel 5, from verse 5, from verse 5 to 7. Mm, okay. Daniel 5, 5 to 7. What happened was, uh, Belteshazzar was drinking with the the holy uh, the the hallowed cups right that they had brought from the temple of Jerusalem and all of a sudden a hand came from heaven and wrote on the wall and you know the fear gripped the king and all of that and all of that and then he called again now come and explain what is written on the wall and nobody could do that and then the father said the mother rather he said she said there's one in your father's kingdom. In those days, the spirit, in whom the spirit of God is dwell. And Daniel came. It's called a bag And then he 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 he, he, he gallivanted into the palace. And then the king told him that if you can tell me what is written on the word, I'm going to give you this, uh, this and that. He said, No, keep your gift. Don't give me anything. And then he began to boast about how that his father fell. And then he told him, mene, mene teke ufasen. And then he began to say the writings of the word. I, I want you to follow a trend that in Daniel chapter 1 verse 8, if they had called Daniel to come and interpret a dream that the king had forgotten, there's no way he would have been able to because he was not prepared. First stage of consciousness is to consciously the second stage of consciousness is when I said conscious competence. You know it, but you need time. He said to the king, give us, give us what? Give us what? Give us time. Don't rush us. I can't tell you now because I have not grown into that level. He was too conscious of his growth. That he, he knows what he could do part time. Hallelujah. And then by chapter 5, he didn't bother telling the king, give us time. He didn't bother. As he saw the writing, as he saw the writing, he said, Mene, Mene, Teke, Ufasi. And then he began to dissect prophecies that deeply. He has entered into the place through the use and then he had gained mastery he grew what consciously yeah he grew conscious he was conscious about everything that at some point he knew that hey this level i need to i need to deny myself of certain pleasure amen I need to deny myself of certain pleasure. I must not miss church. And even when I come, my ears are open to hear what the man of God is saying. Because in the curriculum that is dishing out, lies my blessing. Lies my preparation. The, the, the scheme of work for my life. Because a time will come that destiny will ask you. Yes. Questions will come. Eh? Questions will come. So now when you fail, it means when a child fails, what do we say? What do we say now? If you have a son that is 10 years old and then the child will close to write a uh, common entrance and it's got two in mass, got three in English, got four in general study. Sir? Over 300. Only so, what are you going to do to that child? What are you going to say about the child? Is his mother's child? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
What am I saying? That Daniel went through those stages of consciousness. He was, he was, he was intentional about everything. I was saying that peons will come to ignition every morning with the confidence that if he screams over your destiny, your destiny will shift. Amen? Because I don't know, you can't call one around to be coming to program every morning without having that kind of fun. You cannot be in training school and be using people's time to just play a game. I mean, I can't call 150 people to be coming to my program every morning. <laughs> Amen? Are we here? And then he will tell us, in the night, he had a dream. He was sweeping somewhere. And then he comes up and then begins to release prophecies. And then you begin to see testimonies in the line of his prophecy. You thought he didn't, he didn't wake up. They didn't give birth to peons like this now. He did not wake up one morning and became a prophet. No. You, didn't, you did not wake up one morning and then they added barista to the front of your name. Even if they add barista to the front of my name now, if you bring court case, me and you are going to prison. Yes. You are not the only one that will go because I will say things that will implicate me. Yeah. I saw your flyer, sir. Sound, uh, voice, train, boot camp. It's only someone that has gone through the process of the thing that can now teach the thing. Amen? See, what I'm saying, I, I, I don't know, I don't know if we are getting what I'm saying. That the missing link is not that there is no anointing. It's that we are not conscious of engaging what we are supposed to do. Eh, our minds are not there. Eh, it's not there. Because how many of us, we, be, we thought to run to win. How many of us took a step out of the house? Let alone run. Let alone win. You can't win a race you did not start. You have to start the race to win the race. Whether you are going to fail, you, you have to start first. I said, there are things we can do. There are things we can do. There are things we must actually do to, that will help us bridge that gap. Because you see this gap. You know, it was as though the Holy Spirit just began to paint all kinds of pictures. All kinds. He was picking and picking professionals. You know, I used to tell people that when I was in secondary school, I didn't know much. The thing looked like something that, I mean, I don't do, I, I love math. My heart wants to know it. But something about me does not just know math. And then I wonder, I used to tell the people that know it. I said, the first problem I used to have is when I see the question, I don't know the next thing to do. Is it to rewrite it, change it? I don't know. They will not say, ah, it's just formula. Now you just pick formula. How will I know which one to use to this one? Amen. But at times, the thing, I, I, I will understand it a bit. The example, I, I mean, I'll be like, wow, it's so simple. And then you bring classwork. Why did you change the whole thing? Just give me like that. Because I need to put the um, example side by side with the classwork. And then I will do it carefully. You change anything, you've stopped, you've spoiled. Well, and it's not that I'm dull. It's just that I'm not very good. Right. I'm not very good. What you can do. I wrote here. I said, fill up your heart with meaningful and spiritual content. The word is fill up. That's the key word. What did I say? What did I say? Fill up. Have you ever started praying in tongues before? And then in your vision, you are seeing food. 
Has it happened to anybody? Uh, everybody is looking as if I'm the only one that I'm not spiritual. <clears throat> has, it, has it happened to you before? <laughs> we are too spiritual in this house. That you, you are praying, you know, I talk spirituality. But then it's film. You are just thinking, you are just meditating on the movie. I mean, it's making sense in your head. But where you are, is prayer. You are on ignition, but you are present, but you are watching reels. And now you are not typing amen. Pele. <laughs> Proverbs 23, 7. He said, for as he thinks in his heart. Thank you. So as he thinks in his heart, so is he. The thing there is not just uh, your thoughts. It's the content in your heart. What, that what you meditate on is what you will eventually become. Yeah. So if you do not consciously fill up your heart with meaningful content, with spiritual content, when you see it, to engage, there is nothing there to engage. It's empty. Empty. Number three, I said, number two, I said, speak rightly. Speak right. Proverbs 18, 21. I said, okay, Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the Fruit thereof. Speak right. I was listening to someone yesterday, and then the person cited an example that you charge up. We've been coming to church now. You will do ignition in the morning. We will do amen seven days. We will do victory night watch. And then you will connect to another program again in the morning. And then you will pray and pray and pray. And then you step out and you tell the first person you see that, see, everywhere is dry. Everywhere is what? Everywhere is what? Everywhere is dry. This country is just too hard. You just finished charging. That your angels are ready. Just speak the word. And now, you are now empowering what you are not supposed to empower. And then you see the child and say, why are you this dull? Your own child. You are giving demons strength. Because now what happened is you've shifted in rank because you've stayed with God. You've, 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 you've been transformed the more to his image. He said, I, Gabriel, stand before the presence of God. Whatever thing I say becomes a law. And you too, you've got to stand in that presence of God. And then you come out to say that everywhere is dry. Now, why? Completely. 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 You know when I enter a place? When I enter a place? I begin to confess. I dominate. I am preferred. I don't get me. I might not be as, as brilliant as everybody. But when you see me, there is something about my smile that you will love. There is something about my shirt that you will love. There is something about how I walk that you will love. So I don't just walk anyhow. I walk like royalty. You know I walk like royalty. Eh? It's not easy. There is some that said consciousness I have. It's, I'm, not, I'm not trying to, it's not a, it's, it's something that is inside me. It's not, you have to love me, it's not. So I begin to say those words so that I can begin to reflect the word. Conscious effort every time. I wake up every morning. I don't just say anyhow. I don't, I don't just say, ah, 
Nigeria yi ko le damo o o gbe ti daru o le daru it is no not when i'm there things don't spoil when i visit you in your home And number three, I said practice. Keep doing what you are saying. Remember the flow. Fill up your heart with good content. Now, speak out those thoughts. I'm not just talking about speaking out scriptures. I'm not saying, mm -mm. I'm saying speak rightly. Speak good things. And then begin to practice the things you are saying. Practice it. 1 Kings 18 from 41 to 44. I said, actively engage your words. The prophet Elijah began to pray. And then he continued praying, not seeing anything. And then he told his disciples, he said, go and check seven times. It will take seven times to, to know whether I have failed. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know why you changed my mind. All right. Hallelujah. 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 You can reduce the volume a bit. Hallelujah. The prophet told the disciples, he said, go and check seven times. It will take seven times for you to keep doing the same thing and then fail for me to believe that oh you've really tried you don't do it twice and say it's not working no seven times he said go and check seven times and then at the seventh time there was a sign what am i saying practice what you do you say i am royalty do like you royalty you say i'm the child of god i'm the righteousness of god in christ jesus Behave like it. You don't come to God and because you need 10,000 naira and you are telling God, you know, I'm, I know I'm on what you, I know I'm a sinner, I know I'm Igbao, I know I'm a war. The God that said, You are my child, you are a co heir with Jesus. Are you behaving like a servant? I am yours, I am your father. Come to me. He said, come to me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. He's the one that said I should come. If Dangote tells me, ah, no, come and see me tomorrow. Hey. I have a billion dollar deal for you. What I am saying right now looks like play. But you know what I used to do? I will stay in my room. My, I will tell my wife I'm doing management meeting. So no disturbance. I am. I have board of directors I talk to. Oh my God. And I will be telling them that four years, we have a building in Abuja. And then, you know, our company is in the UK. And then I'm flying private jets. I mean, this you get the private jets ready. Wait, don't say my best. Get the private jet ready. I'm running late for a meeting. I'm doing management meeting. I am doing management meeting because I, I'm not the only one in the room. There is a host with me. I told her yesterday, I said, what I currently handle in my business, I remember the days I used to say it. Eh? Tell them I have this amount here and this amount here. And this amount here and you know what happens it will begin something somehow because i am not alone i am not alone there's a consciousness in anuoluwako is ajekele makome benetia he is not alone sir it does not just play with words last night something happened she was sewing and then the, the machine was not doing well okay Fine, the machine needs servicing. But we need to sew this clothes. Then I remembered what Fion said. He said someone on ignition used the oil on the washing machine. And then the washing machine was. Then I held the oil in my hand. Rubbed the machine. You have to walk. I'm not, it's not the guesswork. 
there's something, there's a consciousness inside of me. Is somebody here now? There's a consciousness inside of me. You know what happened? The moment she started sewing again, the uh, what's, what's it now? The needle broke. I smile. Oh, change the needle. It be so sad. Because that you are practicing it does not mean that it will not get, it will not degenerate. <laughs> but that when it degenerates, it's about to go up. Are you here now? That there's a consciousness I'm building inside of us. That every time you come to Zion tribe, be open at it to receive something. That when you go out on Monday, something is different. You enter your office and ah, you look good today. It's not just about the clothes. There's an anointing. I contacted something on Sunday. I contacted something on Sunday. I came for Thanksgiving service. And then I danced and danced. And danced with the Holy Ghost. And as I was dancing. And I rubbed the body with an angel. And because I rubbed the body with an angel. Something about me must change. I must look more beautiful. Than I was on Friday. When I used to go to work on Sunday, on, on, when I used to go to work every day, at times I get to work on Monday, and someone might see me and say, Oh, eh, eh, chaplain, you're looking very good. You're ready for work on Monday. Eh, eh. It's not just the clothes you're seeing, there's an anointing. I've been refreshed over the weekend. I have built something inside of me. So when I step into the place, Mama Kuhaya Barede Felia Kapali Adeletia, can you rise up on your feet in this place? That as we begin to dance, I don't want you to dance off your mind. Yeah, we can play with it, but don't lose track. Don't lose track. Don't lose track. Because there are angels in this place. And you are going to hit one angel. And it's going to rub off on you. Ayaba tela parokata la balatia. I'm not just dancing you because the next six months is going to be better than the last six months you didn't get that that the next six months is going to be better than the last six months that the next six months is going to be better than the last six months I will consciously engage with thanksgiving. I will consciously engage with praises. I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. Nothing stops me. Just lift up your voice and say thank you Jesus in this place thank you Jesus oh thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus oh yeah ba, 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 ba. thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus yeah, ba, 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 ba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was talking about consciousness. As, as I'm here now, saying thank you, Jesus. I'm not just charging you. I'm seeing the, I am seeing Jesus seated on the throne. And I am telling him thank you for the things you do January to June. And thank you because July to December is going to be my best six months. I am seeing him seated and he's smiling at her. I know it's your own business. Whether you have not seen Jesus before or not, me as I am now. He's seated on the throne and he's smiling, he's smiling, he's smiling. He's smiling at me thank you father thank you oh God what's that song now thank you for not leaving me to the wishes of my enemies oh thank you 
can you go ahead in the next one minute and just rejoice just say thank you jesus thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you oh thank you for me 